Hey guys, welcome to the bonus episode of my blind let's play of Metroid Prime. So today we're going to be taking a look at two things. First of all, the image gallery, which is complete by the way, and I'll get into that in a sec. And also the bonus, the Metroid Prime 2 bonus disc that comes with the copy of Metroid Prime that I have. Um, and those are basically the two things I'm going to be showing in this video. Now, back to what I was saying before. Um, you guys are going to quickly notice something up here. Um, the file A has been replaced. It doesn't say Samus anymore. It says hard A. And I will, I've got to say, I just got to say one thing real quick. The things I do for you guys, seriously, no joke. I, since the recording of the finale of this Let's Play, I actually played through the entire game again this time in hard mode. I did this entirely off screen, and would you guys believe me if I told you I only died twice in the entire playthrough? First time was to the Omega Pirates, and then I beat him after the se uh, during the second attempt, just like in the Let's Play, and then same, and then Meta Ridley. I died to him as well. By way of correction, since uh, episode 57 I found out that Red Ridley's actually a dude, so for some reason I thought Ridley was a girl, whatever. Um, so yeah, I've, I can't tell you guys the amount of times that I played through this game in the process of doing this Let's Play. I mean, I, I swear, um, since I started this blind Let's Play, I must have played through the game at least, like, uh, four, like, four or five times, three of which were actually complete playthroughs, because, you know, if you include the Let's Play. Because, here's the thing, this, um, file that says Hard A, that was the Let's Play file, the one that I complete that you guys saw me complete in the Let's Play itself. Um, but as I was coming close to the end of the Let's Play, I created this file right here, Samus B, and I did that alongside um, getting 100% in the Let's Play because I did not have 100% of the logbook scans in the Let's Play, and that's one of the requirements to get one of the image galleries. Um, so I did that in this file, and I did the same thing when I played through hard mode of the game. So basically I got 100% collectibles and 100% um, logbook scans in this hard playthrough. So I have, in doing so, I unlocked Image Gallery 3, which is the last Image Gallery I had to unlock. So without further delay, let's take a look at the Image Gallery. So right away, it sees it seems that we got 82 pick. 82 images to go through, so I'm just going to go through these fairly quickly because I don't want to take too long on this, but um, apparently this is divided into four galleries. Um, I guess the first one you unlock is by getting like 50% of the logbook scans. Um, the second one you unlock for um, being... No, no, not being the game, but getting all the 100% collectibles. And then you get the third one by... Um, playing through the game hard mode, and then the, there was a fourth one, and I think it's a hundred percent of logbook scans. I do believe so. That's base. If I remember correctly, that's basically how you unlock all the all these uh, image galleries. So that's pretty cool stuff. You know, it's basically the unlockables you get for all your hard work, and it was definitely worth it in the end because we got some pretty good image um, concept art for this game of Samus. It looks like. Um, so we can uh, zoom in with, yeah, zoom in and out with L and R. Um, yeah, because we want to zoom into Metroids, of course. <laughs> and uh, here's another Metroid image here. These are actually pretty cool stuff here, I'm not going to lie. But again, I don't want to take too long dwelling in on this stuff. There's a uh, tri triclods, or tri that. I can't remember the names of these guys, but it's pretty close. Uh, um... I think I know some of these enemies. I remember most of these guys, but not all of them. I, seen, I think I saw a war wasp there. I think these are sentry drones here. Hunter Metroids. Those freaking... Uh, poison puffs or whatever they're called. Yeah, this guy in Magmore Caverns. Freaking baby Shigos. Shigos are pretty scary enemies, but they're not that bad. Ghost Chozos. Yeah, just a lot of cool stuff here. So we're, it tells you what gallery you're in also on the bottom left corner of the screen, so that's pretty cool. 
<clears throat> so I think that's an elite. That's a that's a phase on elite, isn't it? That's the one we fought to get the artifact in phase on mines. Okay. And I do believe that's the uh, parasite queen. I think. I'm just trying to guess what some of the some of these enemies are, because some of them appear as like different than they usually are. I know I know that's Flogger right there. Remember how much how much trouble Flogger gave us like early on in Let's Play? Yeah. Now I can beat him just fine, even in hard mode. I mean, like I will admit, like it took me longer to beat him in hard mode, but it wasn't that much harder actually. Um, I'm gonna assume that this is the yeah this is the map for the whole whole game actually. Is it that crater in here? Actually, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of blurry. Wait, can I? Okay, we can kind of zoom in. There we go. Okay. They they even include the fra the crash frigate, which doesn't count. Like in the game, it doesn't count as a separate region, but that's pretty cool. They include it here. There's Magmore Caverns. There's Pendron Drifts. It's actually pretty cool stuff. Actually, it's pretty interesting. Still, it's pretty much the same as like the. Uh, it's it's easier to look at it like in the actual game, I guess. But whatever, it's still pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm not quite sure what these are. I'll have to take another look at these later. Cause some of the stuff I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think it'd be easier to see if it was like in uh, you know, uh. Like if I zoomed in and panned around these things, but again, I don't want to take too long on this. So apparently we're on Gallery 3. This is the one I just unlocked by completing the game on hard mode. But yeah, it seemed logical to delete the re replace the Let's Play file with the hard with the hard mode file because you know since I didn't have 100% logbook scans in the Let's Play file. Um, but yeah, I know that I just know that one of the things I was missing in the Let's Play file itself was uh, Flogger's tentacles, because apparently you can again you can scan those too. And also like the bosses that I missed like in a uh, number of like in whenever I successfully got the bosses like towards the end of the Let's Play, I forgot to scan them in the set aside from the first attempt. So Th those I almost also missed. And there's a look at Impact Crater. That looks like the fusion suit, isn't it? Kinda. Yeah, that's the fusion suit. Apparently you can uh, link uh, Metroid Fusion to this game, and you can get the fusion suit, which is just cosmetics. I'm not going to be showing in, the, like, trying it out in the Let's Play, especially since I don't have Metroid Fusion, but I just happen to know what the fusion suit looks like. Okay, we're in the last gallery here already. This took actually went by faster than I thought, but probably because I was going through it pretty fast, and there's the boost ball, it looks like. Yep. Looks pretty cool. And of course, Metroid Prime himself, or herself, it could be a dude or a girl, we don't know. And then there's the second phase of Metroid Prime. The core essence, as it's called, I guess. And there we go, there was that mysterious hand that appeared at the end of the, end of the last video. What the heck was that? It looks like a hand with an eye on the back of it. That's pretty cryptic and creepy, I guess. Um, let's take a closer look at it real quick. Yeah, like the it has like an eye on the back of it. It says okay, and it then it says the end with a question mark. So somehow I have a gut feeling that this is actually some sort of foreshadowing to the to Metroid Prime 2. And then there's Samus herself. Without her mask on, that's that's pretty cool, actually. That was that was some pretty cool, pretty cool artwork in there. But that aside, guys, that is all there is that I have to show for this file. As far, I mean, I mean, uh, at least on this disc, that is, because we have another disc to take a look at here in a sec. But yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna do with Metroid Prime, I guess, for this Let's Play. So, um, but I'll have, I guess, I'll share more final thoughts at the end of this video when we, after we check out the bonus disc for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. So, um, without further ado, let's put that disc in and see what's on there. All right, got the disc in, so let's take a look at this. Hopefully we won't have any spoilers, although it's probably, well, obviously there's going to be some, like, maybe minor spoilers or something like that. I don't know for sure. Um, so... Oh, okay, we, so you got five things to choose from. It says there's an art gallery, there's a preview, there's a demo, there's a trailer, and there's a chronicle. 
Huh. Let's take a look at the Chronicle first. This is the first option on here. So, so we got a list of games here, and it looks like it's this is may, might be the chronological order of Metroid games. All right. Well, what the heck? Let's read them. All right. So we got the first game on the NES, Metroid. Nintendo Entertainment System released 1986. A research vessel dispatched by the Galactic Federation discovers and captures a strange life form called a Metroid on the planet's SR388. However, on its way back to Federation HQ, the research vessel is attacked by space pirates who steal the Metroid. Once they discover the Metroid's ability to multiply through beta ray exposure, the space pirates conspire to make use of Metroids in their plot to take over the universe. To stomp them, Samus lands on the planet Zebes and single-handedly destroys their underground base and their leader, Mother Brain, after a series of intense battles. Well, I wasn't planning on doing Metroid, you know, the original Metroid blind on here, so thankfully I don't care about spoilers as far as this goes. In fact, actually, it's just Prime 2 Echoes and Corruption I don't want spoilers from, but, um, I don't know. I might find out stuff about this game in this video that you guys don't want me to, but, you know what, I'm, I'm just viewing this through the eyes of any Metroid Prime fan who was looking forward to Prime 2 Echoes because this is apparently a disc that came out like not like fairly close to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes release so um, whatever I find out on from this disc is probably the same stuff people found it before they played Prime 2 Echoes that they were hardcore fans so whatever all right here we got Metroid Zero Mission I've heard of this game I believe it's a remake of the original yeah Game Boy Advance released 2004 an expanded look at Samus' first mission to Zebes, the bounty hunter heads to planet Zebes to wipe out the space powered threat. However, the story doesn't end after Samus destroys Mother, Sh Mother Brain as she escapes the planet. Her ship is shot down by space pirates and she crash lands on the surface of Zebes, near where the space pirate Mother ship was has landed. Having lost her power soon in the crash, Samus must infiltrate the space pirate ship and fight her way off the planet's surface. So yes, it is a remake of the original Metroid, but with uh, extended... With, I guess extended. Okay. And then, and now the game where we just played, We've, we just finished playing Metroid Prime. So why not read the story again? Nintendo GameCube released 2002. A group of space pirates who escaped the attack on Planet Zeus begin to rebuild their forces on the planet town four, where a strong energy source has been detected. Discovering that this energy, called Phazon, has the capacity to mutate creatures into more violent forms, the space pirates. Will Start experimenting with it and on the creatures of Town 4. Samus learns of these dangerous biological experiments and heads to Town 4 to destroy the experimental facilities and uncover the mystery of Phazon. Yeah, we did all that stuff, pretty much. Huh. That's pretty cool that they actually include footage of the games, too. Like, the corresponding games and also the, like, the, uh, the game covers in one. Now, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Huh. Should I read this? I mean, like, worst case scenario, I'm going to learn about what we're going to be doing, like, story-wise in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Uh. Hmm. You know what, guys? What the heck? This is still technically blind, so at least you guys will be hearing, seeing my reaction to me finding out the story. So, I guess I am going to learn about Metroid Prime 2 Echoes in this video, but obviously I'm not going to be playing, well... There is a demo on this on this disc, so we will be playing it. But you know, this thing this is like a teaser for my Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Let's Play. So why don't, why don't we just take a look? Looks pretty it's pretty sweet so far. All right, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, Nintendo GameCube, coming 2004. A Galactic Federation ship has has disappeared in a pursuit of a band of space pirates. At the request of the Federation, Samus journeys to the planet Ether, the location of the ship's last transmission. There, Samus finds herself in an incredible world where light and dark intertwine in two unstable dimensions. The light world is controlled by the Lumin Luminoth, a peaceful tribe with a unique and highly developed civilization. There are four gigantic energy genera generators are all that keep the light world from collapsing, but the civilization faces imminent destruction at the hands of the Ing Horde. Being born of the dark world, the Ing seize control of the generators. The light world will be extinguished forever. Samus embarks on her mission to defeat the Ing to restore peace to Aether. However, there is an ominous shadow looking in darkness, a shadow which is quietly stalking Samus. I am very excited now. I am very excited to find out what this dark figure is. 
Wait, could that be the thing that we saw at the end of this game? That kind of makes sense because they're being kind of cryptic about it and, and you just... And this, that's the last, th last thing you see in this game. So... I have a feeling that might be what it's talking about. Maybe. I guess we'll find out in the next game, though. <clears throat> Alright, Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. Game Boy release, 1991. Yes, I will eventually do Let's Plays of all these games. Don't what you guys worry. A number of research vessels dispatched by the Galactic Federation to investigate SR-388, the home planet of the Metroids, vanished in succession. Assuming that the crews have been overcome by the Metroids living in the planet's caverns, the Galactic Federation commissioned Samus to eradicate the Metroids. After fighting all types of Metroids, Samus defeats the Queen Metroid deep underground and completes her mission. However, unable to bring herself to destroy Baby Metroid that's just hatched, Samus takes the hatchling back to Space Science Academy. Huh. Alright. And now, Super Metroid. Apparently, this is the, uh, other... Like, this is probably... From what I heard, this is probably the best 2D Metroid game, so I'll definitely have to take a look at this game fairly soon after the Prime series is over with. But yes, first of all, I'm going to be doing all three Prime games blind. I will not be doing the spin-off games blind, though. You know what I'm talking about, Prime Hunters and Prime uh, Pinball. Those I will not be doing blind, if at all, on this channel, so... Uh, sorry about that, guys, but I'm just concerned about the main three, so... Alright, Super Metroid. Let's learn about this game. Super Metroid, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, released 1994. Sorry if I'm talking too fast, it's just because the text scrolls too fast, so. Um, while the base on, plan on planet Zebes is being reconstructed by a group of space pirates who survived the assault by Samus, Ridley attacks the Space, pi space Science Academy and abducts the baby Metroid, the only one left in the universe. Congregated at their rebuild based on Zebes, the space pirates once again get concoct a plot to use the Metroids' biological weapons to receive Metroids and stop the space pirates' evil plan. Samus once again flies to the planet Zebes. There, Samus destroys his mother brain. Thanks to the sacrifice of baby Metroid's life and the escapes, just as the planet Zebes is utterly destroyed by the space pirates' self-destruct program. Man, that text scrolls way too fast, but still, that's pretty cool. We got a nice look at all these games I'll eventually do a Let's Plays of. Um, at least I think I'll be doing all of them. Um, like, I might choose to do one of these two, because, like, since this is just a remake of the original Metroid... So who knows, I might end up doing Metroid Zero Mission instead of the original Metroid. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to choose over time, so... Alright, we got one more game to look at, and that's Metroid Fusion, which was apparently released alongside this game, kinda. Sorta. Although it looks like it's pretty far ahead in the... at least as far as chronological goes. <clears throat> Alright, Metroid Fusion. Game Boy Advance, released 2002. Yep, same year as this game. Samus is attacked by an un unidentified parasite, parasitic creature called an X. During a research mission to study the ecosystem of the planet SR388, planet she had cleared of Metroid. Samus escapes death with an injection of a vaccine made from a Metroid, the only natural predator of X, and leads to the biological si space labs where a mysterious explosion has recently Rocked to the research facility, boistered by her new gen genetic link to Metroid, Samus is now the only being in the universe who can fight the X, so she sets out to wipe out trace them from the labs, however, she's unaware that she's being hunted by the SAX. Incredibly powerful, mimicking Samus herself. Bleh, I cannot finish that, because it scrolls way too fast. But that's okay, you guys probably didn't want... It's probably better off that it is all scrolling that way, you guys, I don't take forever to read that stuff, but... Well, that's the Metroid Chronicle Red. Um, so now we have a trailer, a demo, a preview, and an art gallery. Um, so I guess, shall we watch the trailer now? Uh, why not? Here goes nothing. So I see it's a lot like playing the first Metroid. Okay. I see different beam weapons we'll be having. Huh. I think those were the Ying creatures that were spoken of in the chronologic chronologic thing, right? Dark Samus? Huh? 
Is that what we saw at the end of the game? Oh yeah, and here's the multiplayer. Okay, this this part I, I did play. I did play the multiplayer of Prime 2, but that's it. That's the only experience I have with it. Okay, so I guess that's the trailer. Um, why don't I save the demo for last? Because that way we can end off this Let's Play um, with me getting a chance to play to try out Prime 2 before you know the blind. I do the actual blind Let's Play of it. So I don't know. I hope hopefully you guys don't mind, but either way, I'm gonna do it anyway. So all right, now we got a preview, which will probably be the same as the trailer. Connecting a mainframe, retrieving Bravo team mission footage. Thirty days ago, contact with Galactic Troop Squad Bravo was lost. Uh oh. Oh my. Locate Federation troopers and render assistance. Hmm. Last transmission received from a rogue planet located in the Dasha. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't finish that. Last known coordinates. So the second prime game is a rescue mission, isn't it? And I guess that's our new planet. Okay, so from what I can tell, it looks like we're going to have new beam weapons, and are we going to be able to fly our ship? Kind of like how you do that in Star Fox. Uh, just, I'm just kidding. But still, it'd be pretty cool if you could like fly a ship, like if you went to separate planets or something like that. That'd be pretty awesome. I swear, that has to be the ing. I I'm guessing that's the ing. It only makes sense because they do like like pretty dark creatures. So. Wait, so I've never played like a Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, but is this game basically what it's like? Because I'm seeing, I'm hearing, I'm seeing a lot of like Dark World versus Light World stuff here. So that's what it brings to mind: is Zelda: Link to the Past. Even though I never played before, I still know what's about though. So. Alright, one last thing before we play the demo, let's check out the art gallery. Okay guys, so I'm going to cut that last part out of me viewing the art gallery because it turned out to be nothing but just Prime 1 image gallery stuff. Stuff that we already looked at earlier on in this video. So, and also because, well, mostly the, the former reason, but also I just can't wait to get to this demo. I want to try out Prime 2 Echoes for myself and you guys are going to watch me try it out before even starting the Let's Play. So, let's do this, okay? Thinking this is like uh, this is once again thinking this is like a teaser teaser for my actual let's play of Prime Two Echoes Blind. But again, hopefully won't won't uh, I won't be able to play too far like to the point where it's uh, you know like uh, um, spoilers. But I'm pretty sure there will be some spoilers, but hopefully just not too much. That's going to ruin the entire Let's Play, but I doubt that because obviously I'm not going to be able to, you know, play through the entire game on here, but I don't know. Alright, so once again, reading the 30 days ago, contact with them lost. Contract agreement. Locate Federation troopers and render assistance. Yeah, I read that too. Data confirmation. Last transmission received from a rogue planet located in the Dasha region called Ether. Okay, that's the part that I missed. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm, I'm going to be reading this a third time. Like reading, like going through this whole thing again a third time in episode one of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Blind.
Alright, let's go. Off to Planet Ether. No Town 4 this time. Planet looks pretty cool, I have to say. It keeps on switching between purple and, like, light, though. That's kind of odd. Uh oh. We freaking crash landed. Okay, well, that's great. That's a great start. Give us that Pikmin start, eh? Oh man. The graphic update is very visible, I will say that. Oh yes, we're in control. All right. Uh so um it looks like we have just our scan visor. We have our scan visor again. So that's pretty cool. We get to scan again. And I see different colors too that's pretty odd what's this so we can scan our gunship again oh i mean like i know this is samus gunship you know starship hunter class gunship vessel registered samus aaron you can turn your ship to recharge any reload weapons and save progress in the game okay well that's the same as before um looks like we can scan these pillars too statue houses a power grid motivator unit and energy projection array all systems are offline due to age or structural damage and then, uh, okay, what, what power-ups do we have, actually? I see we got two beam weapons, actually. Uh, since we got dark beam and light beam. Okay, light beam reminds me of the wave beam, and dark beam reminds me of the, I mean, like, the shape is like the ice beam, but it, uh, I can't tell what it's going to be like compared to the last game. And, of course, we got the power beam, but that's pretty obvious because that's going to be expected with every, you know, Metroid game, basically. Okay. So, these are obstacle composed of tens tensile biomaterial. Conventional weapon fire will be an insufficient destroy obstacle. Oh, really? Seems to work before. Yeah, we just shoot it. Gun's got, I mean, the door, sorry, the door's got an upgrade, looks like. Alright. I got some Emmys here. I would be scanning them if this what if this was going to count towards the logbook, but it's obviously not going to since this is a demo, and, like, we're not going to... And I know and I know that for sure because we weren't able to, you know, put the, the gunship into the logbook, but it's pretty obvious since it's just a demo. <clears throat> Power... Power relays connected elevator to unit online. Step into the hologram to activate the elevator. I want to check this out real quick. Oh. Warning. Terminal fall ahead. Yeah, we better be careful now. Ugh. Well, I'm afraid of heights, so I'm going to stay away from that. I like how the hazard mirror now applies to heights, too. Well, that, that's that would be the case for me if I was in this universe. Because yeah, I'm afraid of heights, so... Huh. This is pretty cool so far. I like it. I guess the most noticeable thing for me right now is the... Wait, sometimes you'll need to look around to find targets while holding R. Well, yeah, I know I know how to aim. I've done that for the past, like, 60 videos. That's LP, man. What the heck? <sighs> Dang, so this is going to take some getting used to this whole new universe, this whole new planet stuff. Whoa. Yeah, be careful, dude. I mean, it looks like we do got... Yeah, we got two energy tanks with us, so... That might be just for the demo, though. I'm pretty sure, like... You know, if it's anything like the first game, we're gonna start off with no energy tanks. Like, when, let's, when the game first starts. What the heck are these guys? These aren't space pirates, are they? Sure enough, pirate troopers star freighting... Starfaring Brigand. Aggressive, well-armed bioform trained for combat and conquest. 
Sworn enemy of Samus Aran. Sure enough, we are seeing space pirates. This is actually kind of early on, though, isn't it? I mean, in the last game, we didn't see them until, like, how many episodes in? Like, 30 or so? And... This game, like, they just throw them at you right in the beginning. If this is the beginning of the game, I can't even tell if this is the beginning of the game. Well, it should be, since we just landed on Plant Ether, so... Dang, like, is there even a point to... Well, actually, there is, but still, like... This is basically, like, you guys are seeing episode one of this future Let's Play. That's technically part of, you know, the Prime 1 Let's Play, so... This will probably be the only time I ever do this, something like this, but okay. And what the heck is that? I want to scan that. Oh, I can't scan it? Well, then, fine. Maybe we just have to destroy it or something. That's pretty insane, though, that the pirates actually go inside these guns to shoot us. Okay. Am I going to be able to go inside one of those, too, and shoot pirates? I hope so. All right. Puts down that laser for us. Thank you, laser wall thing. Secure systems active. Dark beam weapon system required for door access. Energize door with this weapon in order to open it. Okay. Alright, so this demo has basically told me there's going to be a light beam and a dark beam. But I guess a few questions I do have is, first of all, are the wave, ice, and plasma beam going to be making a return? And also, like, are we going to have the light beam and the dark beam to start off with? I mean, Really? I mean, don't get me wrong, because that is true, that's pretty cool, but... Oh. Okay, more balls back as well. Do we have the boost bomb? We know we don't. Uh, we do have the, the bombs, though, okay. Huh. Oh, okay, apparently we can go down here. Uh, see, crate. can you destroy his crates? Yes, we can. Then we go through here, okay. Oh, I love that... that little effects that it was making on the ground. Oh, watch out, dude. Like I was saying, I love the effect it was making when uh, we were going through the tunnel there. The particles below Samus is pretty cool. And apparently the da danger meter appears in the when you're in Morph Bomb, but that's, that's cool. I guess they just had like these little upgrades to the game. <gasps> is that a missile expansion? Oh. What the heck? Why am I getting missile expansions in the... That's that's crazy. I'm getting missile expansions in the demo. Is this really going to matter, though? I mean, like, how far ahead in the game are we going to be able to play in this demo? I don't want to play for too long, because I don't want it to be spoiled too much. But now I know where one of the missile expansions are. If you do get it early on in the game, like, that's... I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool, though, if you can actually, like, if you get the, uh... Like, everything to start off with this early on. And apparently the light beam functions like the plasma beam. Like, I just dis disintegrated that guy. Just like with the plasma beam in the first game. Or at least I did with that other one. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I sure did. Uh, can we scan these? This is a standard issue Galactic Federation cargo crate. These storage units are known for ultra-secure lock systems. Destroy them to discover their contents. Huh. What are these? Dark beam ammunition. Resupplies dark beam with five rounds of amp. Dark beam is limited? Oh. Well, all I can say to that is why, because, like, you had unlimited ammunition with the alternate beams in the first game. Door system access to 9, unable to bypass security codes, seeking alternative exit. I'm still kind of curious how long this is going to let me go, you know, in the demo. Now this is complete, this portal is inactive, portal activation system located on upper level of this room. Oh, okay, let's go check it out then. Let's get to the top of this room, I guess. <clears throat> I certainly hope I'm not going to be able to play too far ahead. Okay, scan this. Oh, tss. okay. I didn't think the hologram was going to activate that fast, but oh well. 
Okay, so I guess one question I'm going to have for you guys in the comments below is, first of all, how much more is Metroid Prime 2 di more difficult, more longer than the first game? And, like, also, like, um... Uh... Huh. Let's see, what's other, what are the other questions I have? Like... Oh god, no, that's not- that's Dark Samus, isn't it? Uh, don't run away from me, I want to scan you! Uh, why would you run away from me before I can scan you? What, okay, what do we do here? So, security system engage, unable to bypass spice pirate security- spi spice- <laughs> space pirate security code. Search the area for another way to advance. Uh, what do we do exactly? Oh, I see something over here. This just takes a- ah, what? Oh. Well, that's- well, duh, the glass is broken there, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that to take care of him there. Ah, shoot. I didn't want that to happen. Alright, let's do this. Let's go back up. Let's go figure this out. Figure this out. You can scan a lot of stuff here. Device use space pirates to generate the dark energy need to create portals to dark ether. Control of this system is isolating a secure command station nearby. Alright. Planet Dark Ether. Transdimensional duplicate of planet ether. Unable to determine the origin of ether's dark twin contains high levels of phase on or indigenous bioforms attack on sites. Huh. Alright, let's try going through this door again. See if I can figure it out. So, how can we get it, get in here? There's gotta be another way in. So, we don't wanna go through that door. Huh, how do you get through here? Nothing's, nothing seems to be working. Oh, I see the new the missile uh, launcher has a new th new look to it. That's cool. But I'm um, still wondering how the heck do we get out of this room? Wait a second. Can I use a light beam to open this? Nope. Dark beam. Nope. That's not gonna work. Huh. All right. Let's try. I am stumped here. I don't know what to try. <laughs> uh. Let's try looking around here, I guess. Dark Ether Transit, 424 complete. Radiation levels within tolerances. Dark Cannon Operator operating at full power. No signs of instability detected. Cooldown cycle underway. Huh. Well, I can't seem to find a way out of here. I can't... Yeah, I can't figure out how to advance here. Maybe we can go through there? still inactive. At least we can walk through it, though, but we can't, like, use it yet. Yeah, I'm very confused here. I don't know what to, quite what to do. Planet Ether, obscure world in the Dasha system. Planet unstable due to trans-dimensional flux. Extreme climate shift shifts have left most of Ether. Uninhabitable. Well, that sucks. 422 reports, 3 dead, 2 injured, 1 missing in action, captured bioform transfer to a science team for study. This is deep. Okay, well it seems like there's another door I can access actually right here, so let's check it out. Okay, now we're finally in this room right here, that the space pirates were in. Maybe scanning this will help? Portal control system online. Walk into portal to transport to dark ether. Extreme caution recommended once transit is complete. Do you want to go to dark world? Like, it would be. Would it even be wise for us to go there? I'm probably gonna get my butt kicked as soon as I get there. 
honestly. There doesn't seem to be any other way to get past that, you know, security gate there, so... What else are we to do here this at this point? Huh. Alright, let's go to Dark Ether, I guess. Why not? Aside from pronouncing it wrong, I'm pretty sure I'm getting it right, though. But Alright, let's see what happens here. Let's check out Dark Ether before even doing the Let's Play of the game. Oh man, this is hopefully, yeah, this should be the only time I, the only spoilers I get. Still, that is, that is quite a bit, though. Oh god, what's going on? What the heck? Oh. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I see a door beyond here, though. What do we got here? <clears throat> Xenotech. Luminoth Light Crystal. Generates protective field of light energy. Light crystals provide protection from dark ether's atmosphere. They can be nullified by dark energy and supercharged by light energy. Okay. And we have a light beam and a dark beam for that. Glowing safe zones protect you from dark ether's atmosphere. Yeah, I get that, but how do we... That's a light beam. So, do we need to, like, find a crystal to light up or something? Because, uh... I am not quite sure, like, if there's... Uh, what's that beyond there? Is there anything? I don't see anything. Oh, God. Oh, that was not wise. That was not smart. Okay. First thing I learned about this game... Don't fire these crystals with dark beam. <laughs> I'm still wondering, are we even gonna are we seriously gonna like start the game off with two of the like three beams already available to us? They can't make any more than three available since like that's the only space there is on the D on the D pad, but still. <laughs> what do we got here? Bio scan complete. Subject appears to have been terminated by his own forces. Evidence of parasitic infestation present. Subject may have been turned on his allies against his will. That's insane. Huh. Do we just have to... Okay, it doesn't look like there's any way we can get across here aside from... Like, it looks like we have to take damage in order to get to the next safe zone. Alright, let's go. Some safe zones must be shot to function. Oh, okay. So you have to take damage in order to advance this room, I'm guessing. Because that's the only way it seems to work. So. Alright, here goes nothing. Okay. Energized safe zones don't last forever. Okay, okay. Uh. Do you have to take damage to get through these rooms? That's, that's actually pretty crazy. Because... Okay. Alright, well that works fine. Uh... What is this? Obstacle composed of tensile biomaterial energized by dark energy. The light beam will be able to disrupt and destroy this obstacle. Okay. I am quickly going to run out of light ammunition. Oh, no, that's the thing. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, you get healed by. I just noticed they get healed by those things. Okay, that works. So that's how you. So you have to take damage to get through his rooms, but you get healed by the light beam. Things. Okay. Oh boy, I see purple smoke. That's not good. And these guys must be the Ing, right? Warrior Ing, the soldiers of the Ing Horde. Shape lifting shapeshifting wall crawlers. 
a dangerous combatant in melee and at range, susceptible to light beam attacks. That only makes sense, but the problem is that we're out of... Oh shoot, 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 shoot. We're out of light beam ammunition though, that's the thing. Uh, so what do we do? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, wait, right here, right here. Okay, I got five. There we go. Ah, uh, how many shots do these guys take? That's another thing I have to be careful of. <sighs> That's gonna be a problem. I, I have a bad feeling it's gonna be a problem real quick. Is the whole thing that you have limited ammo on most of your beam weapons. That's not good. Okay, at least we got 45 now. All right, take this. I'm gonna use a yeah. Let's use a charge beam on these guys. There we, there we go. Does that kill him? Nope. He's not dead yet. He wants more. It's fine with me. There we go. That's one of them dead, right? Is he dead? Did I kill him? Alright, we did. Well, fine. I didn't want to see you either. Oh. Is he dead? Light portal active. Okay. Mission complete. Oh, is that it? That's our demo?